Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Barber. I'm the Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Duke. I am uh, incredibly grateful that we've been able to endow the Donald T. Moore Lecture so that we can both honor Dr. Moore uh, and also now annually bring national experts to Duke and to Durham. I mean, who is this warm, genuine, committed individual. And that's what I always wanted to be as well. Roy Parker, our chair's commitment to uh, improving the health care of all women. Roy grew up in Pine Tops, North Carolina, so he certainly understand what poor was like. And uh, he understand, he understood well what lack of medical care was like. And so he and Don Moore developed a relationship like some of the other search, like some of the other chairs developed with doctors at Lincoln. Um, this relationship obviously uh, got off <laughs> to a great start because Dr. Parker uh, brought Don more in to the department as the first African-American fellow at Duke. Um, and subsequently, he offered Don a spot on the faculty, uh, which he accepted. Um, so Don Moore was the chief of OBGYN at Lincoln Hospital uh, and expanded upon the many services that were given at Lincoln. Um, one of the first and most important things was education in the black community. I first met Dr. Moore four years after moving to Durham and I heard about him, he was all the buzz. Everybody was saying, you gotta go to the doctor in town who is the African American OBGYN. I remember people being excited that we had an African American OBGYN who was able to service uh, a large number of people in, uh, in Durham. So he uh, also delivered both of my children, in fact, when, he, um, when I was pregnant with my first child, one of the things I remember about Dr. Moore is that he really was a stickler for making sure that your weight stayed exactly where he wanted it to stay, that you were walking and exercising, and he was the kind of doctor who was very encouraging. So with my first pregnancy, I remember I would get up every morning and go for a walk because I didn't want to be scolded by Dr. Moore when I got there. And I liked the fact that he would um, give positive reinforcement and feedback because he would say, I can tell you're doing what I want you to do. Well, when I think of Don Moore, I think of a very dapper man, probably one of the most well-dressed people I have ever been around. Um, he was very eloquent and incredibly intense, yet relaxed. He had an amazing work ethic. He worked very, very hard. He taught us sort of by hands-on experience. Uh, my connection with Don Moore was doing obstetrics at Lincoln uh, and then operating with him at then Durham County Hospital, now Duke regional hospital. I marveled at how hard this man worked and how technically good he was and uh, it was just one of the people you sort of latch on to to you know learn to do it like they do it and Durham was lucky to have him. I was lucky to have him. He was a man of great integrity. Uh, he would go the extra mile in many ways. He was, he was a good, genuine doctor. I guess the other thing that was so impressive about him was the communication he had with people of color as well as with people that were white. Dr. Moore had a tremendous influence on the residents here at Duke. Uh, he was a talented surgeon. And this is why it was so easy for us to engage all of these former residents to um, contribute to this lectureship when we started. Many, many, many Duke residents have uh, fond memories of Don Moore. Uh, he was a consummate educator. He was a master surgeon who uh, had surgical skills that to watch him operate and learn from him. Uh, he could take the most complicated case and finish it efficiently and quickly and in a safe manner, which was a significant upgrade for uh, underprivileged black women in Durham. First of all, uh, the department was broad. Uh, it didn't have any people of color. 
until Roy Parker decided he was going to uh, grab the bull by the horns and he appointed him as a fellow because he knew he practiced well. He loved to teach and that was true of patients, it was true of uh, trainees, it was true about whoever he came in contact with. Don was a special person whose impact uh, on the Durham community and our department was tremendous. To sort of understand that though, you have to understand the history of Lincoln Hospital. Uh, Washington Duke at the turn of the century wanted to do something uh, to commem commemorate the loyalty and service of slaves during the Civil War. The actual Duke family, I think it goes back to the original Duke sons that had a commitment to the African American population in Durham, uh, which I didn't know anything about. You think of Duke as an elitist school that, uh, you know, was built by tobacco and energy money. So because of this relationship with Duke and the community physicians, it had many more things to offer than just the usual hospital that was built in the segregated south to take care of black patients. After integration, outlying clinics were included in the Duke program so that Duke residents, supposedly with an attending physician, but usually not, would go to these clinics and deliver health care. After the department bought a station wagon for residents to go to uh, Warrington and the other outlying clinics, and, and usually come back full of sick patients. We've had, we've had babies delivered in the station okay, wagon yeah, driving sorry. down the road. Uh, but Lincoln was, was, a, was a good bridge for the community. Uh, and as they, as they built the bridge, uh, which was using different facilities uh, and integrating those as they went along, uh, it, it really helped provide diversity, it, it really helped, helped to find ways to, to mix the two particular populations. We had lots of very good talks about what he did and his patient uh, population and the fact that um, he saw a large number of Medicaid patients. The Medicaid, the fact that there were Medicaid patients did not bother him. The fact that some of them were young patient, patients did bother him. We loved that rotation and we loved knowing that Don Moore was the attending over there and would, you know, if you if you got into a bind or a problem or didn't know something, he was the one that would go and tell you that the baby was breech or, or whatnot when we were examining these women. This Lincoln was born uh, out of biracial cooperation uh, in this community, which was specifically unique and uh, made it uh, different than a lot of other um, hospitals in the segregated South that served black patients. So Don uh, improved the clinics there as the facilities were rebuilt uh, and there were room for clinics. Uh, so there was a prenatal clinic, postpartum clinic, which was relatively new, um, GYN clinics, the ability of patients to have fairly sophisticated surgery there. And Dr. Moore not only operated there, but he operated here at Duke. He came and faced significant prejudice. He dealt with it gracefully and effectively. He was a true pioneer in making changes not only in women's health care and minority health care, but also in the Durham community and at Duke. Many times hearing uh, stories about reactions of white patients that in an emergency situation had to be cared for by Don Moore because he was the covering attending physician. There was certainly pushback sometimes to the degree of being very rude and hateful. I mean, many, many of those women that pushed back so harder 
their partners or whoever was doing the pushback turned around and, and were very appreciative and thankful. In essence, Dharma was an energizer bunny of medicine, but unfortunately, as all bright candles do, the brightest uh, burn out you know, in half the time. And due to illness, his medical career and his life was cut short. But you know, for the things that he contributed to this community, uh, I mean, we all say uh, thank you. And as Roy Parker put it to me one day when we were discussing Don, he said, "There's a place in heaven for Don Moore because of the improvement to health care of African women, African American women that he made." Diversity and inclusion are one of the core values at Duke and one of the core values of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. And much of that comes from the legacy uh, that, of Dr. Moore and uh, his commitment to the African American women of Durham uh, and the engagement between Duke and community resources to provide care for these women, including uh, Lincoln Community Center, our local health departments, and that still continues today. A major focus of the department is providing world-class care to women in our local community, both in Durham County and in surrounding counties. We have a very um, close and important relationship with the local health departments, uh, as well as the Lincoln Community Center um, to partner to provide outstanding care uh, to all women uh, in our community.